Hello, 3 Wins Fitness. Welcome to our 365 Journey to Health family. My name is Coach Jenny Vo, and we will be addressing mobility. Mobility is your ability to move freely and easily. It is also referred to as your strength of the muscles in its respected range of motion. We believe that you deserve to live your life without pain and to move as often as you wish. This is the beginning of our 365 Move Well journey. We advise you to do mobility exercises before and after your workout, on your rest days, and or when you feel you need a pick-me-up or a reset throughout the day. Having a consistent mobility practice will decrease your risk of injury and improve exercise technique to have a more effective exercise session. In today's video, we will be going over a breathing drill, a wrist stretch, a thoracic mobility drill, and an ankle mobility drill. We will have two levels of mobility, one for those who are not yet ready to get on and off the floor, we will call this level one, and one for those who are able to get on and off the floor, which we will call level two. Level one, we'll go ahead and start on a chair. We'll sit down on a chair. We call this our seated breathing drill. Feet are gonna be planted firmly onto the floor. You're going to bring your hips and ribs together. That way they are in one straight line. Sitting up nice and tall, pretending you have a string pulling you up to the sky. Take a nice breath in. And then breathe out through your mouth. We're gonna breathe in through our nose. Let our rib cage expand. Breathing in for three seconds. One, two, three. Pause and hold that breath for one. And then breathe out for five seconds. As we are breathing out, we want to make sure that we are dropping our shoulders away from our ears and our hips and ribs are magnets and they're pulling in closer together. Next up, we have our seated wrist stretch. We are going to pretend we're giving each other a virtual high five. We're going to grab our other hand. We want to pull our fingers closer to our body. As we do this, really focus on your breath, breathing in through your nose, and then breathe out through your mouth. As you are breathing out through your mouth, with every exhale, pull your fingers a little closer to your body as much as you can. We are going to be doing this for 30 seconds on each palm, each hand, three times. Next up, we have our seated imaginary beach ball turns. Staying seated, we're gonna pretend we have a nice beach ball, imaginary beach ball in front of us. Shoulders are gonna be rolled down away from your ears. Take a nice breath in, pretend you're squeezing a ball. We're gonna push our feet into the floor. Breathe out. Turn as much as you can and breathe back into center. Last drill, we have our standing wall ankle mobility drill. For this one, we're gonna go ahead and find a wall. Pretend that there is a wall right in front of me. I'm going to use, I'm gonna use this chair as a reference as a wall. One foot placed in front of the other, holding the wall, squeezing the wall, and then from here, I'm gonna take a nice breath in, and I'm gonna drive my knees towards my toes. The main goal here is to feel that nice stretch in the back of our ankle. The stretch that you should be feeling it is the back heel. Now, for level two, we're gonna go ahead and take a, take a seat onto our mat on the floor. We're gonna lay down on our back.
from here. I'm gonna bring your imaginary belt buckle up to your chin. Hips and ribs are together. Hands out to your side. Take a nice big breath in through your nose. Let your rib cage expand. Hold for one second. Then breathe out through your mouth. Nice exhale for five. As we are exhaling, we want to be mindful to drop our shoulders away from our ears, bringing those hips and ribs together like they are magnets. Our wrist stretch for level two is going to be a quadruped wrist stretch. Knees are going to be right under our hips, toes are going to be tucked in. Instead of our fingers facing forward, we are going to turn them that way. Our fingers are facing towards us. We're gonna spread our shirt. Then from here, we are going to go to where we feel comfortable. Take a nice breath in. And then you are going to breathe out. And then rock back. You should feel a stretch in the front of the your arm here. We're going to hold this here for 30 seconds. Try to go a little bit deeper as you exhale into this stretch. If it feels a little uncomfortable, you can ease forward a bit and then get back into it. You're doing this for 30 seconds and go ahead and reset. Try again. For our third exercise for level two, we have what we call a long one half kneel with the T reach. This is our thoracic mobility drill for level two. Starting off on both knees, I'm gonna take my left leg forward, I'm gonna walk it out a little forward, and then I'm gonna place my hands right next to my left leg, left foot. From here, my knee is going to stay on the ground. I'm going to tuck my toe in, which is my right toe. My left hand is then going to grab my right rib cage. I'm grabbing the floor with my right hand. I'm hugging myself here. Nice breath in. I'm going to turn. A lot of breath out as I reach for the sky or for the ceiling. Reset. Bring it back in. Really lock and squeeze the floor. Push that floor away with your left foot. And then reach for the sky. Now for our last drill for level two, we have an open one half ankle mobility drill. We're gonna start in our tall kneeling position. From here, we're gonna pick one leg up and then with this leg, we're gonna bring it outside. That way we open up our leg. The inside of my heel is gonna be in one straight line with my opposite knee. From here, I'm going to grab my ankle with where the shoelace is and where the heel is. I'm gonna staple and glue my foot down. Nice breath in, rock it to the opposite side. Then I'm gonna drive my shin towards my toes. Let her breath out. I'm gonna hold it here for about five seconds. Reset, breath in, breathe out. Nice proud chest as you drive your shin towards your toes. Really important here to make sure that your foot stays glued as you're driving your shin towards your toes. Most people may feel the need to lift their heel up. We wanna make sure that we staple and glue that foot down as much as we can. That way we feel the stretch in the back of our ankle. If you're feeling it a little bit more in your thigh, that's okay. That just tells your body that you're a little too far away bring that ankle a little closer so we can force what we call an ankle dorsiflexion stretch. 
have for today. Stay tuned for our next mobility video. And make sure to check out our strength videos with Coach Chris and our aerobic videos with Coach Tony.